All right, welcome to Nelson's Lightroom Classic Tutorial. Uh, so this is going to be our big picture overview, whether you have done Lightroom stuff before um, in my class or if you're new to it, this is going to be kind of just a, an overall tutorial that will cover a lot of things. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you stick with it uh, because even if you are not new, there's going to be some new stuff that you may not have seen before or just kind of different ways to do things that, you know, you may not have tried before. So, um, yeah, please stick with it. Um, I'm also going to set it up in a way that there are a series of a whole bunch of different short videos uh, rather than um, a bunch of... Uh, all in one super long video so that way you know it's kind of like buffet style so if you need to if you need help with remembering how to import you can just click on the import video or like ah, how do I do this one thing in editing you can go uh, to the editing section rather than going through the whole kit and caboodle of everything so um, that's gonna be kind of how things are set up um, some of the things that we're gonna be going through in here are uh, we're gonna go through layout uh, import and organization, rating uh, your photos just to find things easier. Um, obviously, editing that's going to be a huge one. It'll be actually broken up into a couple different sections. We'll talk about presets. Um, the the value of them um, and some of the setbacks as well that uh, that you might end up with when you rely on them too much. And then also just how to export. Like how do we export for different things whether it is um, you know if we're going to put it on the web uh, if we're going to print larger format files and also just kind of you know at this point on this day what my expectations for uh, photos that you're submitting to me as well so uh, yeah big picture that's kind of what this whole thing is going to be about uh, let's get out of here um, let's check out how to actually get into Lightroom so if you have not logged into Lightroom before um, or any of the Adobe world on this specific computer that you're using currently right now, um, this is how you do it. Uh, for the PCs, uh, the actual files or the, the, the programs are over here on the left side, um, but it's kind of weird that you can't just log in that way. You actually have to go in through this little icon in the bottom uh, right and so it kind of looks like a cloud it also kind of looks like a chain link depending on what you see but if you click on that it's going to bring you to this screen uh, so this is our going to be our login we're going to use our google apps account so we're going to continue with google wait patiently and watch the spinning wheel of death all right here we go and it's going to bring us to this world we are a let's see oh i want to use my other account so i'm going to log in with nelson jeff at apbs dot rg all right as you all know well enough it'll bring us here Oops, let's try that again. Never. Yep, it is me. I always think that's a funny question. We're going to do enterprise. And we're all set. So eventually this will pop up, uh, this screen here. This is showing us all the different programs that we have. Um, and yeah, so right now on this computer, at least, I have Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, and Lightroom Classic. Um, but once you're logged in, you're good. You don't have to, you, more, than, more than likely, you shouldn't have to log in over and over and over and over again. So you should be good at that point. Um, so we can actually close all this. And now, now we can actually log in. For some of you, you're going to see a couple different things. Um, some of you might have Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. We're going to use Lightroom Classic. It has more features. Um, it's the Lightroom, just the straight up Lightroom is actually kind of like a little bit of a watered down version. You can do a lot of the same things, um, but for our purposes, Lightroom Classic is actually going to be a better fit. 
So this is what it looks like as it's loading. As you'll see, usually it isn't too bad. It takes a couple seconds. Sometimes longer. Um, as you can see at the top here, if we can kind of look at this before it totally loads. We have a few, this is kind of our um, navigation up here. So we have library, develop, map, book, slideshow, print, web, and then the syncing cloud. Um, so 99.9% .9 of what we're going to be doing is going to be is going to come through develop, and it's going to come through library. So let's check some of these things out. So we're going to go to library, and uh, as you can see, I actually already have a couple things in here, um, but I'm going to kind of give you a big picture overview of uh, how and where some of these things are. So library, um, at the top we have our navigator, which is right here. Our navigator is kind of like a small preview of what we're looking at. Um, you'll see it in develop, um, and you'll also see it in library as well. Uh, but it's just kind of like a miniature version. You can also, um, yep. Yeah. Uh, below here, we have our catalog, folders, collections, publishing services. Uh, we'll, we will use our catalog. Um, our catalog is going to be kind of our go-to big picture collection of where everything is. Um, folders, I don't really have much set up in folders right now, but you can go through here and, you know, if look on your desktop. You know, if you're looking for specific folders, um, the way we're going to set it up, we're actually going to put all of our images basically into one big folder. Um, and then we'll do all of our organization in Lightroom through this thing called collections, which we will definitely get into in the next video. I'm just like I said, we're just kind of doing like the nickel tour of it for right now. Um, so let's say let's look at. our previous import um, a couple of things we can see on the right hand side uh, so this is our histogram this is basically a big picture um, graph of our photos information from lights and darks we can look at co uh, different colors in here um, it's just kind of like a graphed version of what it actually looks like which is kind of hard to explain um, we have quick develop so if you had a whole bunch of things that you're just trying to do really quickly um, you can use presets you can do tone control honestly we really won't use it keywording um, let's say i was a professional photo like wedding photographer i could go in here and type in uh, the name of the people that I was working with, I could put type in locations, right? It's just kind of tags to make it easier for me to go back and find stuff. You can see there's some suggestions down here, like team mascot graphics. Apparently there's a lot of going on with mascots there. Uh, then we can go to keyword list, right? Um, and let's see what else we've got going on in here. Uh, metadata, which is actually pretty useful at times, um, especially in class. In here, it'll show us our ratings. Um, it'll talk about the type of file that we have. Um, but this is also super useful in this area as well. So we have our, this is our exposure triangle information. So we have the aperture, we have the shutter speed, and we have the ISO. And it talks a little bit more about these types of things too, uh, but that's our big picture information that we may want. And you can also comment on your photos too, just for your own personal use. Most of the time, you're not really gonna use it. Um, yes. All right, so let's talk about develop really quick. This is where we're gonna where all the magic happens. So this is actually where we're gonna be creating our images and doing the creative uh, aspect of the the photo in the editing. Uh, in here, there's a huge range of different things that we can do. Um, we'll be getting to this later in the editing section. Um, as, in regards to the stuff on the left, we have presets. We have, so this is, you know, similar to your Visco or on your phone where you can go in and there's preset things that you can use to, you know, instantly do it. Um, if we go down further, let's close our presets. We have history. So this will actually show us 
um, what we've done, right? So if I go over here and I change my exposure, you'll see it now has changed my exposure. Um, I can go like, ah, oh, I did not want that. I can always just go back. So it's literally a history of the things that I've done. And then once again, smart collections, which we'll get into later. Map, kind of useful, not super useful. If you were, like I said, like a professional photographer, you wanted to track all the different places that you've been, or you're trying to, you know, you can definitely go back in there. And here you can make books, you can make slideshows, you can, um, we, we will get into printing every once in a while, um, depending on what class you're taking. Um, we'll definitely go in and print some things out as well. And there's a lot of different settings that we can do for that. Uh, for most of the time, the only thing that we're really gonna be doing is kind of making the image bigger and smaller in here. On the sides, you can see the rulers. So currently, uh, you know, this image is, uh, let's see, six by three eighths by uh, something else, right? So um, once again, we can kind of play around in there, change the size if we needed to print it to hang it up on the wall out in the hallway. Um, in here as well, we can choose our printer uh, and then, which is right here. So depending on what room we're in, right now I'm at 277, right? If we were printing upstairs, we print to 356. And then I hit print. And it doesn't look like anything's really happening, um, but we'll see actually it up there. We can get more into that in a different video. So big picture, that's the overview of this. And we'll get more specific as we go into the different parts of the tutorial. Thanks.